Hello there and welcome to another Partners in Crime tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be learning how to turn the default cube into a nice hexagonal shape. So uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to orient our camera. So type numpad 7 on your keyboard to go into the top view and then type control and then alt and then numpad 0 to bring the camera into front view. So now we're going to rotate this cube. So type R and then Y and then 45 on your keyboard and then type enter. Then type R and then X and then 45 on your keyboard and type enter. So now we're going to apply rotation to this so that Blender thinks that this is the default rotation of our object so that it scales properly. So type control and then A on your keyboard and click rotation to apply the rotation. Now we're going to type S, Z and then 0 and we're going to type enter to confirm the uh, sizing. Now we're going to type tab on our keyboard to go into edit mode and, in, and uh, when we're in edit mode you want to right click on the middle vertices so right click on that right there hold down shift and right click on this one and then type X and click vertices to delete the vertices and uh, now you can type tab to go back into object mode so we got a nice hexagon shape here so one fun thing you can do is you can uh, you can go into the uh, mesh data tab. You can add some shape keys to this to make it a little bit more fun. So let's type tab on your keyboard and type A. And let's type E to extrude this and right click to cancel the movement. And press tab to go back into object mode and we'll click plus to add a basis shape key which is the basis shape of our object and then plus again to add a key 1. So with key 1 we're going to go tab to go into edit mode and we're just going to type S and 0 and enter and type tab so now if we put the value of the shape key up it's going to kind of kind of go into the center of the and kind of just kind of just close in so we can keyframe this so you can jump to frame 35 and make the value 1 cursor over that and uh, just put your cursor here and type I and um, jump back to the previous frame. Pull the value down, hover your cursor over that and type I. So if you Alt A to play that, you'll have a nice hexagon closing in. And you can size this up real big here by typing S, moving your cursor out and left clicking. And if you just play that, you'll have a nice hexagon closing in. So, um, thanks for watching this tutorial. We're pretty much finished with it. And uh, if you want to get some pre made shapes for Blender, you can check out Ultimate Motion Elements or Blend Shape on Selfie. We'll include the link for those in the description. And uh, you can leave a like and a comment below if you have any more tutorial suggestions. So, again, thanks for watching. And subscribe for more tutorials from partners in coordinated rendering of ideas, motion, and effects.